I wanted to share how genetic testing saved my life and share my story with Learn, Look, Locate. In 1999, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. Several years later, um, in 2008 or 2009, she was offered genetic testing. My mom was under the age of 40 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. My mom had her genetic testing performed and then her genetic testing came back positive for the BRCA1 mutation. This prompted my sister and I to both get tested and I tested positive for the BRCA1 mutation and my sister did not. So with my BRCA1 mutation, I was referred to a breast surgeon and I was entered into their high risk breast clinic where I began testing every six months, alternating between a mammogram, breast ultrasound, and an MRI every six months. And I also had a transvaginal ultrasound due to the high risk of ovarian cancer associated with the mutation. Fast forward to 2021, I was um, in my every six month testing protocol and I had an abnormal mammogram. With my abnormal mammogram, I had a breast biopsy. I knew deep down that something wasn't good because I had never had any abnormal tests in all of my years of very consistent testing. I did come back positive um, for breast cancer. Fortunately, it was early stage. Because of the testing protocol, I did catch it when it was at stage 1B. Um, I did go on to have a, a bilateral mastectomy and I had reconstructive surgery. I had four rounds of chemotherapy, but without the genetic testing um, that I had back in 2008, and following these testing protocols, my breast cancer diagnosis would have been a completely different story. Several years prior, I also had a prophylactic surgery to remove my fallopian tubes and ovaries called a BSO to help with that reduction of ovarian cancer. But without all of the knowledge and all of the testing protocols that I did throughout my 20s and 30s, my again, my breast cancer diagnosis would have been a completely different story. And I just want to spread the word that genetic testing does save lives.